Hey, Cookaholic Chef Kendra here, and today we are making a very beautiful and delicious turtle cheesecake. So let's do what we do and make it happen. We have some homemade vanilla wafers and some melted butter, and that's going to be our crust. You can find the recipe for homemade vanilla wafers, which are a hundred times better than store bought, in the description below. We have our vanilla wafers here, and we have our butter here. Before we put all that together for the crust, I want to talk about pans. We have some spring form pans here. We have three sizes, an 8 inch, a 9 inch, and a 10 inch. For this situation, we're going to use the 9 inch. And this is very important. We want to make a water bath so our cake can cook in a nice moist environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the sides up of this pan with aluminum foil. The pan opens and has a hook, you open it up, so water can get inside of that. So we need to cover it in aluminum foil, and I put on several layers of aluminum foil to make sure no water gets in and ruin our cheesecake. And it's gonna go inside just like that. So it's not that difficult, very simple. Just an extra precaution. Now here, we're gonna take our cookies and we're going to get them in the blender and we're going to turn them into crumbs and this of course is going to be for our bottom layer it's going to be our crust we're going to bake this off after we mix it with some butter now i cut out a piece of parchment to line the bottom of the pan i'm just going to fit that in i'm going to set this aside for now now I'm going to mix the butter with the cookie crumbs. And the butter is melted. I'm going to take a spatula and just stir that all around until everything's mixed in very well. And you can use graham cracker crumbs if you prefer, but sometimes it's fun to switch it up a bit. Now we're going to dump it into our pan and press it all around and a little bit up to size. We won't go too high up to size, but we're gonna go up to size a little bit. And once we have everything patted in, we're gonna to toss it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Now on to our filling. We're gonna use some cream cheese. We got some sugar here, salt, we have some vanilla extract, very good vanilla extract. I made that. And we have cream cheese. We got a couple of blocks here. It's always funny to me how New York style cheesecake is made with Philly cream cheese. Although this isn't the Philly cream cheese brand. Onwards and upwards, we're gonna open this. And this is how you open cream cheese. You lift this thing up. And they have a little tab here that I bet nobody has ever used in their life. You pull it, you pull it and that's how you open cream cheese. And this cream cheese needs to be room temperature. I'm gonna plug that in. And in it goes. We have our cream cheese in the stand mixer. We're gonna raise it up and we're gonna set it to medium. And we're gonna let it go. What we're trying to do here is get it smooth. We're gonna let it go for about a minute or two. See how fluffy that is? Smooth, it's fluffy, it's creamy. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on stir and get our sugar in there. Okay, the next thing we're going to add right here is the salt. Now we're going to add an egg at a time. Let that mix in. Then another egg. And this is a special paddle 
It didn't come with the KitchenAid. I bought it on Amazon. I'll toss a link below. And it makes life so much easier. Cause you don't have to constantly scrape the bowl. Okay, once that's incorporated, we're gonna put in our vanilla extract. And I'm going to cut it off, pull it down, and I'm gonna add the sour cream. We're just gonna mix this until it's creamy and it's smooth. That's just what we're looking for, guys. Ignore this. Get rid of this. We have our crust out of the oven and you really can smell the vanilla. Okay, we're gonna pop this off. Filling into our pan. Just like so. Cheesecake is my partner's favorite. She's gonna love this. She's gonna be so happy when she gets home. I like to shake it up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna pour some water in here. This water is hot. That's all I use for water bath. Don't go crazy with it. When we put this in here, it's gonna rise up. Displacement sun. All right, guys, we're going to get this in the oven for maybe an hour, hour, 15 minutes. When we pull it out the oven, it still should be jiggly in the center. We're going to let it cool. Then we're going to toss it in the refrigerator for five to six hours. Okay, guys, we have it out of the oven. What we're going to do next is we're going to take off the aluminum foil and pop the hook and put it in the refrigerator. But before we do that, we need to let it cool for a half hour. Also, while it's resting here, I want to show you something, guys. Shake it. See how it jiggles a little still in the center? See that? That's just what we're looking for. Okay, I'm gonna take this off now. It's been a half hour. Now I'm going to pop this latch and you see the cake pull away from the sides. I'm going to show you how beautiful that is. That's a beautiful cheesecake. I'm covering it with foil and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for five or six hours. So we have our cream, it's very hot. And we're going to pour it over the chocolate chips. Take our whisk. And this will melt our chocolate. And we're gonna whisk it until it's smooth. And what we're doing here is basically making a quick ganache. Now make sure it's smooth. Okay. Now, we're going to pour this lovely chocolate all over our cake. Get it all on top. And we're just going to make sure we cover the top with this beautiful chocolate. All right, now that we've got the chocolate over the top, I'm very satisfied with that. I'm gonna take some 
chop pecans or pecans however you say it whatever and we're going to sprinkle these over the top you see where we're going with this do you see where we're going with this can you anticipate how delicious this is going to be homemade cookies homemade cheesecake making a turtle style topping try to get these evenly this beautiful bit of goodness goes in the refrigerator and when this sets we'll finish up by making our topping we're going to make the topping the last topping the caramel topping we're going to turn our little pot here on medium we're going to chuck the butter in start to melt it the butter is almost melted so we're going to Get our sugar in here. And a little bit of corn syrup. We're gonna do a stir in this until the sugar is really dissolved in the butter. We don't want crystals of sugar in our caramel sauce. This is right where we want it. Now we're going to add our cream. So all we're going to do now is let it cool a little bit. I'm taking our caramel and I'm pouring it in this little cup. It's a glass measuring cup because this is going to make it easier for me to drizzle it over the cake. We have our cake here. We have our caramel. And all we're going to do is drizzle caramel over the top. I let this cool for about 15 minutes. It's pretty if you go over the sides. So there we have it, guys. We have a turtle cheesecake. Yo, you can find this recipe and other tasty recipes at chefkendra.weebly.com. You know I got you. Share my videos, and if you haven't already, subscribe. That's all for now. Chef Kendra is out. Peace.